petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. I feel very happy. हमारे पेरेंट्स और टीचर्स ने हमको साथ दिया था और यहाँ पे आए के बाद हम थोड़ी नर्वस है but feel very good. There are several ways to conserve fuel and it is very necessary to conserve fuel because energy is a vital source and for each and everything we need energy. We are feeling very great to participate in the quest since it's a very great platform of learning about many new things. And we are obliged that we got a chance to come here and learn about many new things. But when we drive, I think we uh, we have to like go go at a slower speed, and then uh, when we stop at red lights or when we stop at all, we have to turn off the engines so that we can save fuel. Well, hello there. They say the true purpose of science is not to fight nature, but to live in it. Ladies and gentlemen, with that thought, I, Gautam Bose, your quiz master of the day, welcome you to yet another exciting episode of PCRA Presents Saksham 2018, the one-of-a-kind quiz contest which talks about nature, environment, and its sustainability. Well, the journey of uh, Saksham has been nothing short of exciting. We started some months back with the elimination round, which was on an online platform. More than 2 lakh students from over 31,000 schools participated in it. Uske baad, hum pohunche district level competition mein, then to the state level. And today, we have amongst us some of the finest quizzers from the Eastern Zone. So ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, come, let's meet them. Going first to my far right, team number one, who have come all the way from Bihar, from Jawahar, Navodhya, Vidyale. Team one, please introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Fazan Hashmi, representing Jawahar, Navodhya, Vidyalaya, Kishanganj. And I study in class 10. Fantastic. Hello, I... And your partner is? Hello, I am Gulmozan Fazi from Jawahar, Navodhya, Vidyalaya, Kishanganj, Bihar. I also okay. in class 10. All right, welcome the two of you. But before we pass it on to the next team, I'm just curious to know, did you prepare anything in particular for this quiz? Yes, Be truthful yes. about it. Yes, we have prepared. Okay, what did you do? We have arranged. Libraries, gay, books, or internet search? Kiya? Yeah, we have arranged books from library. Okay. And search, we have searched in internet also. About Fantastic. CCR. So all the best to Jawahar Navodhya Vidyale from Bihar. Let's welcome them with a round of applause. Very, very well done for having reached thus far. Iske baad hum badte hai team number two ki or jo aai hai Pashim Bengal se. Let's welcome Rahimpur Navagram High School. And your names please. My name is Sangeeta Pal. I, I am from Rahimpur Navagram High School, West Bengal. I read in class 10. I am Anir Nundi. I am from Rahimpur Navagram High School. I read in class 10. Okay, Sangeeta and Anir all the best to you. I hope that all of you know that you are playing for a place in the national finals of this prestigious quiz. So you will need your calm, your composure, and of course, you'll have to hold on to your nerves. So all the best. I'm Chalte of Apne Left Kior to team number three, who have come from the beautiful state of Sikkim. And might I add, the, one of the cleanest state. So please introduce yourselves to the audience. Hi, I'm Saurav Kumar, and I study in class 10, and I'm a student of 
Holy Cross School Tadun Sikkim. Hello, it's me Rishal, a student of class 9 from Holy Cross School Sikkim. Welcome to both the gentlemen looking uh, resplendent in their maroon jackets. All the best to you as well. Okay. And uh, last but not the least, definitely team number 4 from Mizoram. They are from the Mary Mount School. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Kel Radhika. I'm from Merriman School, Aizor, and I study in class 8. Hi, my name is Samal Si Vahel and I'm and I'm from uh, Merriman School, Tlang Aizor, and I study in class 8. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, before we began, I told you that over 2 lakh children from various parts of the country participated in the online elimination round. Which means, these 8 teams up here on stage are incredibly good. Hence, they have defeated all those teams to have reached here. So I believe all the four teams deserve another round of applause. Let's clap for all of them. Well done. Well done. And as I said, play well. May the best team win. I will tell you about our quiz. We will play with you five rounds. Different rounds, different rules. I'll explain the Different rounds, different rules. I'll explain each round to you as we come to them. To start off with, we are going to round number one, which will have questions from the environment. Here are the rules of this course. It's a non-passing round. One direct question first to team one, and we'll move towards team four. And then again, I'll come to team one, which means each team will have two direct questions to answer. Each question carries four options. Obviously, one option is right and the other three is incorrect. Your job is pretty simple, actually, to identify the right answer. All right. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let's roll with the first round of the quiz. Eight questions. First question, team number one. Here we go. Which one of the following rivers is well known for the presence of dolphins? And your options are River Brahmaputra, B, Ganga, C, Godavari, or is it the Narmada? A, Brahmaputra. A, Brahmaputra, I'm afraid that's the incorrect answer. Ganges, let's see what team number two does with their direct question. All right, all the best team two. Here comes your question. The wetlands conservation and management rules of 2010 has been replaced by what? And your options are A, the Ramsar Convention on Wetland 2017, B, Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2017, C, Wetlands Management and Conservation Rules 2017, or is it D, none from the above? C. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, that I was looking for is option B, Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2017. I'm afraid I can't give you any points for that, team two. Well, the first two questions coming back to the quiz master, which is not a good start. I hope team number three does better with their first direct question. Team number three, here comes your direct question on your monitors now. Which type of forests are found at an altitude of 5,300 meters, chiefly on mountains of Himalayas and the Nilgiri? And your options are as follows. A, dry deciduous forests. B, moist tropical forest. C, temperate forest. Or is it D, tropical moist deciduous forest? You roughly have about 10 seconds to ponder upon your question. D. You say it's D, tropical moist deciduous forest. Ah, uh, too bad. The first three questions coming back to me. That's an incorrect answer. Iska sahi jawab tha C, temperate forest. 
Well, the next question is a direct for the team coming from the beautiful state of Mizoram. Here comes your question on your monitors now. Global agreement in specific control strategies to reduce ozone depleting substances was adopted by which of the following? And your options are A, the Vienna Convention, B, the Rio de Janeiro Conference, C, the Montreal Protocol, or do you think it's D, the Kyoto Protocol? Should be easy enough for team number four. D, the Kyoto Protocol. You say is the Kyoto Protocol. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with half of the round from in a clockwise direction. I'm afraid to say I haven't got a right answer yet. And uh, what I'll do is I'll throw it back to the audience for the right answer. Team number four is wrong. So if anybody in the audience wants to answer this, I can repeat the question for you once again. Global agreement in specific control strategies to reduce ozone depleting substances was adopted by the Vienna Convention, the Rio de Janeiro Conference, the Montreal Protocol or the Kyoto Protocol. Whoever wants to take that, uh, first I'll want the answer from, from a student. See, there are no negatives. In fact, if you're right, we'll give you some prizes. So take a try. Whoever wants to take a try. Nobody trying that one? Yes, I finally find a hand there. Hi, my name is Tanya Gojar. Hi, Tanya. Welcome. And what would be your answer? A. A. And what was A? You remember or you're just taking a guess? I don't remember. You don't remember. A was the Vienna Convention, which I'm afraid is the wrong answer. Does anybody else want to take this? Yes, the young girl there in the third row. Hello, my name is Himanshi. Hi, Himanshi. What do you think is the right answer? Montreal Protocol. Finally, I get a right answer. Let's clap for her. Well answered. This is indeed the Montreal Protocol. And uh, we'll give you some prizes. It'll come to you, don't worry. All right then, so for the teams on stage, you need to answer better because the first four questions went unanswered. I hope there's going to be a role reversal with the fifth question. Next question is a direct once again for team Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale from Bihar. Here comes your question on your monitors. Degree of biodiversity increases from dash and your options are A, equator to poles, B, poles to equator, C, low latitude to high latitude or is it D, low altitude to high altitude? It's B, poles to equator. At least you sound confident in your answer. You say it's B, poles to equator. Ladies and gentlemen, the first right answer for the day. Let's clap for them. Well answered, Bihar. Very well answered. All right, opening 10 points taken by the team from Bihar. Moving back to team number two for their direct question. Here comes your question on your monitors. Now, global dimming means what amongst the following? Your options are A, gradual increase of temperature of ionosphere. B, gradual loss of biodiversity hotspots. C, gradual reduction of global direct irradiance at the Earth's surface. Or is it D, gradual increase in the melting of ice at polar regions. Take your time, you roughly have 10 seconds to ponder upon this one. D. You think it's D, gradual increase in melting of ice in the polar region. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. So whenever a team on stage gives me a wrong answer, that could only mean one good thing which is that I'm going to bounce it back to the audience. Audience, for your benefit, I'll read the question once again. I'm talking about global dimming. 
what do you think is global dimming and your options are listen carefully a gradual increase of the temperature of ionosphere option b gradual loss of biodiversity hotspots option c gradual reduction of global direct irradiance at the earth's surface and the last option is gradual increase in the melting of ice in the polar region i'll give you a clue as well option d is not the right answer since one of the teams has already said that so who wants to take this in the audience we have some fantastic prizes courtesy pcra i see a hand there please stand and wait for the microphone to reach you sir b sir b first your name dear uh, my name is lakshya verma lakshya lakshya thinks the answer is b yes. gradual loss of biodiversity hotspots is incorrect does anybody else in the audience want to take this the lady there second last row yes your name please hello my name is vanshika tanwar vanshika okay and what's your answer the answer is c answer is c could you repeat the option what was c so you are just taking a guess is it yes but sometimes guess work does work please clap for her she is right the right answer is indeed option c next question is a direct for holy cross school sikkim here comes your direct question on the screens now interactive association between two populations mind you we are talking about interactive sessions between two populations in which one population benefits from this association while the other is ineffected and your options are a mutualism b neutralism c commensalism or is it d symbiosis d symbiosis you say symbiosis which i'm afraid is Mutualism. not right Mutualism. the correct answer that i was looking for is option c commensalism commensalism in ecology is that the relationships between two organisms where one organism benefits while the other remains ineffected right that was the right answer i was looking for this round is turning out to be rather low scoring one only one right answer has come about let's see what team 4 does with the last direct question of this round team 4 if you are ready here comes your question on your monitors the unf triple c climate change conference cop23 road map for Talanoa dialogue was established in which city your options are a bonn b berlin c paris or is it d moscow b berlin b berlin well you did get the germany part right but your answer is incorrect your answer is incorrect so another time i'll throw that back to the audience answer is a and the answer is a which is born you are sure about that answer yes absolutely sure well done let's clap for him well answered well the first round proving to be a little difficult for the four teams on stage but let me assure you they are champion teams i'm sure they are going to make amends in the following rounds ladies and gentlemen as of now at the close of the first round the scorecard reads like this team number 1 on 10 points but the other three teams the team from west bengal sikkim and mizoram are yet to open their account but never mind as i said we have lots of rounds remaining i'm sure you can make a strong comeback so best wishes once again let's straight in go to the next round The next round has four questions. It works in similar fashion. One question has four options, three of which are incorrect. Your job is to find the correct answer. Scoring pattern: ten points if you get it right. Questions do not pass. 
so it's only played on the direct. All the best teams. First question for Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale from Bihar. Here we go. Here comes your question on your screens. Jarvis was in recent news. Jarvis was in the news recently. What is Jarvis is what you'll have to tell us. And your options are A. Was it a rover made by NASA? B. Is it the oldest woman living on Earth? Option C. Is it a physical robot? Or do you think it's D. An AI imbued software application. An artificial intelligence imbued software application. It's B. It's B. Please uh, give us the complete answer because the options are on your screen. Oldest woman living on Earth. Do you think Jarvis is the oldest woman living on Earth? Well, the name Jarvis and that to a woman does not sound right. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. I can throw that back to the audience, whoever wants to take it. This time we are going to, uh, to our right to the gentleman at the last row. Hello, my name is Shubham Pramanik. I am from Java Navada Vidyale. All right. Meghalaya. So you are from Meghalaya. I was for a moment thinking that you had come to cheer team number one because they are also from that school. All right. Okay, What's think, your answer? I think the answer is uh, D, option D. You think the answer is option D, which is something to do with AI or artificial intelligence. Ladies and gentlemen, he is absolutely right. Let's clap for him. Well answered. All right then, moving on across to team number two from West Bengal. Here comes your direct question on your monitors now. Which of the following is not a part of the digestive system? Which amongst the following is not a part of the digestive system? And your options are A, small intestine, B, the rectum, C, the pharynx, or is it D, the spleen? Spleen. They were very quick on this one, ladies and gentlemen. This time they're right. Let's clap for them. It is the spleen. Well, spleen acts basically as a filter for blood as part of the immunity system. Well answered there by team number two. Now moving across to the left of the stage towards team three, Holy Cross School, Sikkim. Here comes your question on your monitors. Which of the following is true with regard to INS Calvary, which has been in the news of late? And your options are, I'm rather going to give you two statements. Statement one, it is a nuclear submarine. Second statement, it is based on Scorpion class submarine. So the option that you'll have to choose is between A, which means only statement one is true, B, which is only statement two is true, C, both one and two is true, or is it D, none of the two statements are true. You have 10 seconds. Two only. So your answer is two only, which means it is based on Scorpion class submarine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this time they're also right. 10 full points to team number three from Sikkim. All right, next direct question. The last one in this round is for team number four from the state of Mizoram. Here comes your question on your monitors. Temperature of distant luminous bodies can be determined by dash. And your options are as follows. Mercury thermometers, B, gas thermometers, C, pyrometers, or is it D, color thermometers? D, color thermometers. You think it's D, color thermometers? I'm afraid that's an incorrect answer. Moving back to the audience, your answer the is? answer is C. Answer is C. And what was C? Byron. You've forgotten, pyrometers, right? Yes. All right, Manas has taken a guess, but his guess is absolutely right. So let's clap for Manas. Well done, Manas. Fantastic answer. 
Actually, Manas, I'll tell you a little more about pyrometers. The word pyrometer has a very interesting origin. The word pyro comes from Greek, which means fire, and meter is to measure. So something which measures fire or temperature. That's the literal meaning of the word pyrometer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the close of uh, the previous round, the scores are as following. Team number one, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale from Bihar, they are on 10 points. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Team number two, Rahimpur Navagram High School from West Bengal, also on 10 points. Let's clap for them as well. <laughs> to the left of the stage, Team Holy Cross School from the beautiful state of Sikkim on 10 points as well. Let's clap for Team 3. And Team number 4, Mary Mountain School from Mizoram, haven't opened their account yet, but uh, I'm sure they are going to do that very, very soon. All right then, so before we proceed to the next round, a little birdie tells me that one amongst the eight of you here is a budding basketball player. I hear somebody from Holy Cross School is a basketball player. So which amongst the two plays basketball? It's me, Saurav Kumar. Saurav, okay. So you play it, uh, you go to a lot of inter-school competitions. Competition. Have you played for the state as well? No, not for the state. Either. Okay, but uh, you plan to do that? Plan to. Is it? All right, and just give me a truthful answer. What do you think, you are good at basketball? I can't tell like exactly I'm good at it, okay. but I'm still learning. But you're still learning. Well, that's the spirit uh, that you must have. You are uh, saying you are not sure whether you are good or not, but nevertheless, you are trying. So all the best with your basketball career. And as of now, all the best for this quiz, which is more important, right? So let's go into the third round of the quiz, which is a GK based <coughs> round. Now listen to the rules of this round carefully. It's going to be a little different from the previous rounds. It's a round of rapid fire questions. Questions are general knowledge oriented, right? Which means I can ask you from any topic whatsoever. You will be given 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. If you don't know the answer to a particular question, you could always go for a pass. And if you have any time left, we will come back to your question. Obviously, questions do not pass. 10 points per correct answer, no negatives. All right, so all the best to the four teams on stage. We are going to start the rapid fire round for team Bihar. And if you are ready, we'll clock you down now. First question, which of the following planets has the largest number of natural satellites or Jupiter. moons? Jupiter, Mars, Venus or Saturn? Hey, Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. Well done. Next question, who was the first recipient of the Dada Sahib Palke Award? It's B. Devi Karani. Absolutely right. Devi Karani, even before listening to the options. What is the name of the first Indian to win the Nobel Prize D, in D, economics? Amartya Sen. Amartya Sen is correct. Well done. Who is the first Indian woman to become a civilian police advisor in the United States? Nations. Is it Nilima Mishra? Is it Mithali Raj? Is it Arti Shah? A Nilima Sharma. No, is incorrect. Kiran Bedi is the right answer. Which one among the following waves carries the maximum energy per photon? Is it A, X rays, B, radio waves, C, light waves, or is it D, microwaves? X rays, A. X rays is absolutely right. Well done. Next question. The region known as Golan Heights sometimes appears in the news in the context of i have started the question so i'll complete you can take that israel. your options are a israel. jordan and israel b israel and lebanon c syria and israel c syria and israel is what they say ladies and gentlemen this team is good well answered let's clap for them good answer there jawahar navodaya vidyale bihar We'll uh, reveal your scores uh, at the end of this round once I'm done asking questions to all the teams on stage. 
All right, team number two, having got the hang of things, all the best is what I can tell you. 60 seconds, take as many questions as you can. And if you are ready, team two, we'll start your timer now. First question, the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology is located at A, Mumbai, B, Chandigarh, C, Kolkata, D, Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Hyderabad is absolutely right. Well done. Polavaram project, sometimes in news, is to be built on A, River Godavari in Andhra Pradesh, River Godavari in Telangana, River Krishna in Andhra Pradesh, or is it D, River Krishna in Telangana? River Godavari in Andhra Pradesh. Is absolutely right. Well answered. Next question. Which one of the following countries hosted the 12th East Asia Summit recently? Is it Vietnam? Is it Philippines? Is it Singapore? Or is it New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand is incorrect. Philippines is the right answer. On a topographic map, lines that connect points of the same elevation are termed as what? A. Benchmarks. B. Bathymetric lines. C. Contour lines. Or is it isobars? You could go for a pass if you're not sure about the answer. Isobars. No is incorrect. And that is time up for you. The correct answer to this one was contour lines. All right, team number two, you have uh, put in some right answers, some misses, some easy ones which you missed. But let's see if your effort is going to be good enough to propel you to the national finals. For that, you'll have to wait for some more time. Now, going to the left of the stage to Holy Cross School, Sikkim. Gentlemen, if you are ready, we'll start your clock now. Question one, which of the following is a west flowing Narmada. river in India? Narmada. Narmada is correct. Which country built the largest single aperture radio telescope China. called FAST? China. He is absolutely right. What is the location of Marina Trench, the world's deepest oceanic trench? Is it Eastern Pacific? Is it Western Pacific? Is it Northern Atlantic? Western is it Pacific. South Atlantic? Western Pacific. He is absolutely right. Which of the following is the most commonly used chemical for ripening calcium of carbide. mangoes? Calcium, in calcium, carbide. Calcium, carbide. calcium carbide. Calcium carbide is right. Well answered. The concept of Lokpal is borrowed Sweden. from which Sweden. country? Sweden. They are not going for the options. Well answered. Which of the following type of forest is the most widespread in India? Tropical, Tropical evergreen. Tropical deciduous. deciduous. Tropical deciduous is correct. Well answered. Which among the following states is not part of Narmada Khan? Chhattisgarh was the right answer. Where is the headquarters of International Labour Organization located? Mina. 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 Geneva is the right answer. And that is time for team number three. But I believe they did splendidly well in this round. Let's have a huge round of applause for Holy Cross School Sikkim. Some very good answers that you have put in and you were really, really fast. That's another strategy that teams could deploy. Well, now only team four is left, but try and take as many questions as you can. Don't wait for me to complete all the four options. Having said that, team number four from Mizoram, if you are ready, gentlemen, we'll clock you down now. First question, Kolar gold mines are located in the state of Kerala, Telangana, Maharashtra or Karnataka? See si, Maharashtra. No, it's Karnataka. Which one of the following category does the Kartosat series of satellites belong to? Earth observation, communication, meteorological, astronomical? Meteorological, see. Si. No, is incorrect. Earth observation. Which of the following Indian states does not share borders with Myanmar? And your options are Manipur, Nagaland, West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh. Bengal, West Bengal is correct. Well answered. The Zaranj Delaram Highway is in which country? Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Tajikistan. Af Afghanistan. B. Is correct. Well answered. Next question. The Lodha Committee, sometimes in news, is related to A. Food subsidies, B. Election reforms, C. Railway accidents, or D. BCCI reforms. This C. Should be easy. Railway accidents. No, this is the BCCI reforms. Oh. Next question. Which of the following countries is not a member of NSG, the nuclear suppliers group? A, China, B, Singapore, C, Turkey, D, Kazakhstan. 
Quick answer. Eight, I'm allowing you that. No, China is incorrect. The correct answer to this question was Singapore. So, ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for this round. Some teams did splendidly well, but I think all of them deserve an equal round of applause. Let's clap for all of them. Very, very well played. At this point in time, we are going to take a short commercial break, but please do join us back because this quiz is going uh, headed in a very interesting way. After we come back, we'll have another look at the score and we pick action on the fourth round. Until then, thank you for watching. Petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. Yellow. Good news, sir. Today, you will get a discount on petrol on 20% of petrol. 20%? 20%? Lottery lucky. So, I'm going to put the rest of the money in the back. That's what you're going to do, right? 45 speed, red light engine off. 20% petrol will be saved. Sir, it's not the case. PCRA's Android app is downloaded and you can save your money. Petroleum Sunrise Bank. Now, let's go to the next round. 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 Let's go to the मैंने सोच लिया है जब मैं बड़ा हो जाऊंगा ना तब मैं साइकिल रिपेयर की दुकान खोलूंगा क्यों जिस तरह आप सब पेट्रोल वेस्ट कर रहे हैं फ्यूचर में तो पेट्रोल बचेगा ही नहीं तब तो सब साइकिल ही चलाएंगे ना खुद ही सारा पेट्रोल खत्म करेंगे या कुछ अपने बच्चों के लिए भी छोड़ेंगे प्लीज कम से कम सिग्नल पे तो इंजन ऑफ कीजिए बी सी आर ए का एंड्रॉइड ऐप डाउनलोड करें और ईंधन बचाने के उपाय जाने पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ पेट्रोलियम एवं प्राकृतिक गैस मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी which we are dealing with here is of energy conservation. How? Because the plastic which is uh, there in the e-waste, it's being recycled. And that recycling of plastic saves so much of energy and so much of resources that uh, this e-waste dealing has become a very important aspect of uh, not just uh, curbing the environmental pollution, but also saving a lot of energy. We have to take that we have public transport vehicles ki taraf zyada apna dhyan de, ke apne khud ke vehicles ko lekar sadko pe nikalne ke. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after those short messages. You are watching PCRA Presents Saksham 2018, the Pan-India Interschool Quiz Contest, which talks about the nature and its conservation. It's a good time to have a look at the scorecard. At the end of the third round, team number one on 60 points. Let's clap for them. <laughs> team number two from West Bengal is on 30 points. Let's clap for them as well. With an excellent rapid fire round, the team from Sikkim leading the quiz at this point in time on 80 points. And team number four, Mary Mount School Mizoram is on 20 points. Let's clap for them as well. So ladies and gentlemen on stage, we are done with the first three rounds. Only two rounds remain. May I remind all of you once again, you are playing for a spot at the national finals. So play harder, answer some difficult questions and in the process, get some points. All right, teams, we are going into the fourth round and this round is on Earth Sciences. Here are the rules of the game. This round is on the buzzer, meaning questions will not pass. The fastest team on the buzzer 
would get a crack at answering the question plus 20 points if you get it right but the downside is minus 10 points if you press the buzzer and give me a wrong answer the other possibility if you press the buzzer and decide to pass the question that automatically is a negative 10 points so look sharp on the buzzer all the best to the four teams on stage here comes the first question of the buzzer round a volcano which is composed of lava flows pyroclastic material and which is steep sided and very tall is known by what name a syncline b composite cone c that is team number two what's your answer b composite cone composite cone is what you think team number two didn't i tell you there is a negative element attached to this round ladies and gentlemen minus 10 points is something that team two will not get well answered plus 20 points good answer there that in these is the composite cone well i almost gave you a heart attack sorry for that you were absolutely right full 20 points again look sharp on the buzzer next question of this round here it comes on your monitors in geological studies a fracture in the earth's surface along which movement has taken place is termed as what a again team number two C. if you will default they say it's fault option c well this team is taking the bulls by the horn ladies and gentlemen plus 20 points once again well answered plus 20 points two on two from the rahimpur navagram high school from the state of west bengal just to remind the other teams you are still in the game look sharp on the buzzer not too many questions left question number three of the buzzer round here it comes on your screen in geological studies the mohorevic discontinuity commonly called moho is the boundary between that is team number four this time the mantle and the cross a a the mantle and the cross this time ladies and gentlemen team four is right let's clap for them 20 points 20 well picked points by team number four last question of this round here it comes on your screen which of the following has the longest duration is it that's team number one this time what's your answer it's between eons period era or the epoch era i'm afraid that's the wrong answer you'll pick up a negative on that one the correct answer to this question is eons minus 10 points i'm afraid for team number one but that's okay let's clap for all the teams especially for team two who picked up 40 points in this round well after that uh, very fast and very curious buzz around i assume there have been a change in the standings we'll have a quick look at the scores team number one from bihar on 50 points let's clap for them Team number two, champions from West Bengal on 70 points. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, the team from Sikkim on 80 points and leading the quiz. Let's clap for them. <laughs> and team from Mizoram, or must I say, the champions from Mizoram are on 40 points. Let's clap for them as well. We started this quiz about 45 minutes back and in another 10 to 12 minutes, we will know which team out of the four on stage are going to join the other two teams at the national finale. Just to give you a heads up, from the North Zone, Sir Padampat Singhania School has made it to the finals. So has from the West Zone, the Sainik School from Chhattisgarh. So one team from this cluster is going to join them at the national finale once again all the best to the four teams here are the rules of the game of the last round it's a round on visuals
plus 20 points if you get it right. It's a passing round. There are absolutely no negatives. So flat scoring of 20 points, plus 20 for a direct, plus 20 on a rebound. So all the best to the four teams. Here we go. First question of the visual round coming up on your screens now. Pandit Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, had to say this about this legend. Who am I? I, I am a mere Prime Minister before a queen, a queen of music. Lata Mangeshkar called her Tapaswini or the Renunciate and Ustad Bade Gulam Ali Khan Sahib termed her Suswara Lakshmi or the goddess of the perfect note. Who is this legendary musician? This is a direct for team Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale from Bihar. Should be fairly simple. When we talk about legends in music, she is probably the most renowned. What's your answer, team one? M.S. Subhalakshmi. M.S. Subhalakshmi. Well, if your answer is right, let me give you first some information about the legendary M.S. Subhalakshmi ji. She is the first musician ever to be accorded the Bharat Ratna. Not only that, she is the first musician from India to be given a Ramon Maxese Award. Ladies and gentlemen, team one is absolutely right. 20 points to them. This is the legendary MS Subha Lakshmi. Well answered there by team number one. Next question of the visual round is a direct for team West Bengal. Here comes your question on the screen. Look at the structure carefully. The fascinating and world famous structure portraying brilliance of Buddhist art and sculpture attracts attention of thousands of tourists each year. I will give you an additional clue. It is located somewhere in central India. You have to give me the name of this renowned structure. Team number two, what's your answer going to be? If you give me a right answer to this one, you'll be in strong contention to make your way to the national finale. They are still thinking. Your Check clock is ticking down. Can't give you any more point or rather any more time. I'm sorry. I need an answer now. Quick. I'll have to pass that across to Team 3. Holy Cross School Sikkim. The Sanchi Stupa. Could you tell me where it is located? Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, I talked about Central India, very close to Bhopal. They are absolutely right. 24 <laughs> points. This is indeed the Sanchi Stupa, which is a brilliant example of Buddhist architecture. Well answered, gentlemen, on a pass. And that could prove to be costly for team number two. Well then, team three, here comes your direct question of the visual round on your screens now. Shown here is a famous person from history. He is a famous historical personality. What is his name? Look at what he is wearing. That might give you a direct clue to arrive at the answer. You have about another five seconds to ponder upon this one. The last Governor General of India. Lord I need Mountbatten. his name. Lord Mountbatten. Lord Mountbatten, the Viceroy of India in 1947. Ladies and gentlemen, this round is turning out to be rather interesting. They are right. Yes. Full 20 points. Full 20 points is what they get. That is indeed. Lord Mountbatten, who played a crucial role when the Britishers left India. Well answered. Team 3 looks very surprised at their own answer. But you can afford that because you have just picked up 20 points. Well then, is it going to be enough to put you through to the next round? The last question will tell that. Last question for Team Mizoram. Here it comes on your screen. Well, we all know what it is. You'll have to give me the scientific name of this bird. 
Take your time, you have about 10 seconds to think on this. What is the scientific name of this bird? It's a two word answer that I'm looking for. Two word answer. The other teams are also thinking, but you'll have to wait your turn. It's a direct for team four. Yes, team four, I need to extract an answer now. Abhi aapko iska uttar dena padega. Kaafi samay de diya hai maine aapko. I'll pass that across to team one. Fabius Sativa. No is incorrect. Moving that to team number two. Take a guess. Take a guess. There are no negatives. You don't want to take a guess? No. All right. Moving that to team number three. Pass. Passing, surprising. None of the teams here on stage knew the answer to the simple question. The answer that I was looking for is Pavo Cristatus. Pavo Cristatus is the scientific name of the bird that you saw on your monitors. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we come to the close of yet another exciting episode of PCRA Presents Saksham 2018. You were watching the East Zone semi-finals and one of the teams is going to qualify for the national finale. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we conclude this exciting episode with the East Zone teams. It's a good time to have a look at the final scorecard. At the end of the quiz, team one, they finish with 70 points. Let's clap for them, please. And they are the joint Runners up with team number two also on 70 points. Well done to both the teams. And team number three, Holy Cross School from Sikkim. They had a fairly slow start, but they picked up as we progressed. They are going to qualify for the national finals. Let's have a huge round of applause for them. Ending the quiz with 120 points. Team number four from Mizoram, they end the quiz on 40 points. So let's clap for them, please. Well then, congratulations to Holy Cross School Sikkim. I'm going to meet you at the national finals. Prepare well because the other teams who have already qualified are pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate to have amongst us two distinguished gentlemen. May I first call upon Sri Navin Gulati, Director and CRC, Northern region of PCRA. Sir, if you can kindly come up on stage. And we also have amongst us Sri NS Choudhury, Additional Director of Finance, PCRA. Welcome, both the gentlemen. <laughs> Hello, sir. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. All right, we'll uh, have the prize distribution in the reverse order. First, if I may call upon Mary Mount School from Mizoram to accept their prizes. Let's clap for them as they come. All right then, we have found the third team to qualify to the national finale. It is going to be Holy Cross School from Sikkim. Please do join us back next week where we see another batch of four fresh teams fighting it out for the top honors from the South Zone. Until then, as I always say, keep smiling and may God bless you. Thank you very much for watching.
पेट्रोलियम पदार्थ सीमित हैं और जल्द ही खत्म हो जाने वाले हैं इसीलिए इन दुर्लभ पदार्थ को बचाना जरूरी है एलपीजी बचाने के लिए प्रेशर कुकर का इस्तेमाल करें पीसीआरए द्वारा बताए गए साधारण टिप्स अपनाएं। आइए दोस्तों हम ईंधन बचाएं और देश की प्रगति में हाथ बटाएं। पीसीआरए का एलपीजी बचत के उपाय पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी